a Hurricane Hunter aircraft indicated early Thursday that Hurricane Harvey, the first major hurricane to hit Texas in 12 years, has gained strength and is now a Category 2 storm. The National Weather Service in Houston tweeted that the aircraft registered winds at an estimated 100 miles per hour. Recent data from a NOAA Hurricane Hunter aircraft indicated hashtag Harvey has strengthened with estimated 100 miles per hour and is now a Category 2 storm. NWS Houston, at Nshouston August 25th. 2017 forecasters labeled Harvey a life-threatening storm that posed a grave risk. Millions of people braced for a prolonged battering that could swamp dozens of counties more than 100 miles inland. Landfall was predicted for late Friday or early Saturday between Port O'Connor and Matagorda Bay, a 30 mile stretch of coastline about 70 miles northeast of Corpus Christi. Harvey grew quickly Thursday from a tropical depression into a Category 1 hurricane. Fueled by warm Gulf of Mexico waters, it was projected to become a major Category 3 hurricane. The last storm of that category to hit the U.S. was Hurricane Wilma in October 2005 in Florida. Texas Governor Greg Abbott said in a statement that President Donald Trump called him to pledge all available federal resources to assist in preparation, as well as rescue and recovery efforts. Abbott said he assured Trump that Texas was working hand in hand with local and federal partners. FEMA stands ready to support state, local and tribal officials as they prepare for Hurricane Harvey, Administrator Brock Long of the Federal Emergency Management Agency said in a statement. I encourage residents who will be affected to follow directions from their local officials. Know your threats, heed the warnings, and if you're in the path of the storm, ensure your family is prepared for possible prolonged disruptions to normal services. FEMA established an incident support base at Randolph Auxiliary Airfield near Sakine, Texas, filled with supplies such as water, meals, blankets and other resources to be available to potentially affected residents. Evacuations in Texas along the coast were being prepared. Fox 29 San Antonio reported. The Associated Press contributed to this report.